Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to style my coffee bar. I'm so excited that I finally have one. I'm gonna go ahead and put stuff inside of the cabinet and on top of the surface. And then I'm gonna tell you guys exactly where I got everything. So let's get started. Okay guys, so here is the finished product. I am so happy with the way it turned out. So I'm gonna get up closer and show you each section and tell you where I got everything from. I got these from, all these things from Hobby Lobby. So the fork and the spoon and the gather sign are all from Hobby Lobby and they were on sale, which was a bonus. Usually all their stuff is pretty much on sale or they have a coupon. I got this chalkboard from Hobby Lobby and I just wrote coffee bar on it. I just love it so much. I got these flowers from Home Goods, and they're already pre-arranged in the vase, which I love. And then the cake slash dessert stand I got from Target. It was in the Bullseyes Playground dollar spot section. It was $5, and they still have those right now. And all of this stuff is current, so you should be able to find all this stuff. Then the coffee and tea containers I also got from Target, and they do currently still have these. They are made by Threshold. And then of course I have my Keurig, and then I have it on this black mat, which I'll zoom in on because it's hard to see. And I like that it matches my table. So I got that at Target and it was only like $1.99. And then the table itself, I got this from Overstock and it wasn't that bad. It was less than $200, which was awesome. The name of this is the Layla Buffet, and it's in black, of course. I got the black because the colors of our kitchen are gonna be black and white, primarily. And then let's look on the inside. So on the first shelf, I have my cupcake slash dessert stand that I got from Target last Easter and it was in Bullseye's Playground. And then I got these two big serving bowls from Target as well. They were having a huge, and they may still be having a huge clearance on their serveware and dishes, things like that. And they are the medium size serving bowls and they're by threshold. And then on this side, I've got some more serveware. All of this is serveware because I wanted to just have some serveware for when I do entertain eventually. We don't do much entertaining right now, but I've got a medium size serving platter on the bottom and then a really small size serving platter on top of that and then a creamer server. I don't know the proper word for it, pitcher, I don't know but those were also on sale and they're all by threshold. And then down here, I've just got some smaller size serving bowls and I got four of those. They were on clearance. They were only like $2 each, which was so awesome. The way I picked out my serveware, just a little tip I used was that I thought about how I would serve for like Christmas and Thanksgiving, cause this is what this would be for. And I might get a gravy boat, I'm not sure. They have a really cute one at Hobby Lobby, we'll see. But that's what's in the cabinets. I don't have anything in the drawers yet. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in there quite yet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun decorating my coffee bar, coffee corner, coffee station, whatever you call it. But I'm just so in love with it and I'm so happy and 
my house is coming together just the way I want it to. So I'll do a full tour of everything I've done. Once everything's together, I am taking some before and after clips so you guys can see what I did and I'll tell you where everything's from and all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button if you are a new guest to my channel. And if you're already a subscriber, as always, thank you so much for coming back and subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.